Hey y'all, in today's video, I am gonna be taking y'all along with me as I pack up my husband's lunch boxes for his work week. So if you are new here, he is a truck driver that works really long hours. So this is just something that I enjoy doing because I know that it makes his days a little bit better. So I had some leftover roast beef in my fridge. So I figured that I would make these little like roast beef roll-ups, super easy, extremely low effort, takes no time at all. So basically, you just need a can of crescent rolls. Of course, you'll separate those, lay down your roast beef, and then you're going to need some like string cheese. I'm just using the original mozzarella ones. Cut that in half and then just lay it on each one. Feel free to use any type of cheese. There's so many great options out there. Just whatever you would like best or your spouse, whoever. Uh, but yeah, then you're just going to simply roll them up. I found it easiest to kind of roll it to cover the meat and cheese and then take the tail end and flap it on over. Now, this step is optional, but I've had this garlic and herb butter in my fridge that is close to expiration date. So I've been trying to use it in a lot of my cooking recently, but it's really good. I just melted some of it down in the microwave and then I'm simply just brushing it over each one. So this will help brown these up even better. And of course it's gonna give it a nice garlic butter flavor and who doesn't like that? So I did bake these in the oven at 375 degrees for around 17 minutes. So while those are cooling down, I'm gonna get him a little snack prepared. So this is just a Granny Smith apple that I have sliced up. Um, as I say in most of these lunchbox videos, he, there's not many vegetables that he likes, but he does like most fruit. So I always try to pack him at least one. Um, and then I like to keep these little caramel cups on hand. For some reason, I thought it would fit in that little section, but of course it didn't. So I just poured it on out in there. So by the time I got that done, these were cool enough to like store. So I'm just putting it in my little rectangle glass Pyrex dish that I've had for many, many years. It fit three. And then in his thermos, I'm going to be giving him some of this Campbell's vegetable beef soup. I was going to make like an au jus to dip the little roast beef roll-ups in, but I figured this would work just the same. I didn't have the au jus stuff anyways. So here's a clip that I'm inserting from the next morning. I did prime his thermos with boiling water, let it sit for 20 minutes, dumped it out. I heated that soup up on the stove and I'm just dumping it on in. And I know the lighting's bad. It's kind of hard to see the soup actually going in. This was like in the middle of the night. He works crazy hours. It's not always the same, but we always make it work. So he really, really liked this one. And like I said, he could dip those little roll-ups in it if he wanted to. And we're in Kentucky, so some days are still really hot right now. But there's also some nice cool fall days mixed in. So either way, we're like soup year around people. But backtracking to the night before when I was packing this up, I gave him one of these like edible cookie dough cups. It's just the chocolate chip. I found that at the dollar store, but I've also seen them at Walmart and I'm sure you can get it like most grocery stores. But for drinks, I'm giving him an L8 Zero and then the water jug has returned and he'll be taking that each day. The next lunch, I am giving him some leftover cheesy potato soup that I made the night before. And that recipe is in my last What's For Dinner video. It was absolutely amazing. I tried out a new recipe for it and we just loved it. I'm topping it with some pepper, cheese, and some dried chives. I did cook up some extra bacon in the oven to go on top of that, as well as this sandwich. And I left it in too long. I accidentally burned it, so that was a bummer but I'm just going on with it. So I am also making him a sub sandwich. I like to keep these sub rows from Walmart in my freezer since they go bad quick and they thaw out really quick. It's great for Josh and my daughter. She loves sub sandwiches. So I had some ham and turkey in the fridge that really needed to be eaten up. So maybe it's kind of weird to mix the two, but he don't care about stuff like that. I added some mayo and mustard and cheese to it, and I like to cut it in half. I think it's a little bit easier to eat and looks a little better, a little bit funner, so I was going to get that put in this little container that, once again, I've had for many years. I got it at Walmart for like $9.98, if I'm remembering correctly, and as you can see, I'm giving him some strawberries and 
Fall time is when I buy like the most little Debbie cakes. I cannot help myself. I think that they are just so cute. And I know that a lot of you like to make jokes about little Debbie cakes, but I do not care. We like the little Debbies. So I'm also going to give them some Lay's classic potato chips. We are the type of people that has to have chips with our sandwich. And I'm also going to give him one of these peach mango body armor light drinks to go along with his water. This one is probably our favorite flavor at the moment. For the next lunch, I got the snacks ready first. So this is a new to us one that we have been obsessed with and it's only two ingredients. And again, very, very low effort. So all you need is some Brits crackers and some Rolos. So on a parchment lined cookie sheet, I'm just laying out 12 of the crackers. And if you have never heard of Rolos before, if you've never bought them, it's basically just chocolate with caramel filled on the inside. So I'm just going to place one on each cracker and bake it at 350 degrees for five minutes. So this is after I pulled it out. As you can see, the bottom crackers are like golden brown. And you're just going to simply take another cracker, place it on top, and just kind of smush it down. And that's what's going to flatten out the like chocolate and caramel and y'all these are so so good it's just the perfect combination of salty and sweet you've got to try it if you never have before so i recently bought these like four section containers off of amazon it came in a pack of four i mainly got it for the kids but it's going to come in handy for josh too i'm sure so in two of the sections i gave him three of the crackers so six in total and the other two i didn't plan for i just kind of filled it in with whatever this is some cinnamon popcorn that's been hanging out in the pantry it's pretty good and one of Josh's all-time favorites is to snack on some cheese and pepperoni so I gave him some cheese cubes and like I said pepperoni so there is his little snacky box so now on to the main part of his lunch. So in my last What's For Dinner video, I made some birria ramen. So this is that leftover meat and the leftover sauce I made. And as you can probably tell, I am going to be using that to make some tacos. So I got some oil heated up in my skillet. Once it was nice and hot, I took my corn tortillas and just dipped it on both sides in that sauce. I'm gonna get that added to the skillet and then I'm just gonna add down a little bit of some shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I'm just taking a fork to add some of the shredded beef. I did microwave that container before doing this. Otherwise, it would have been pretty impossible to get it to lay down like that and I always do have a little bit of trouble trying to get these folded up since they are so small and I always have a tendency to like overfill these but the first one's always the hardest and then I kind of got the hang of it um, but basically I'm just going to fry these up for a few minutes on each side to develop some color get that cheese melted and I did end up making him six of these. And for once, he did have to bring a couple back. And he said that it was just too much food to eat it all. Um, sometimes I do pack him way too much food. And sometimes I get it just right. But I would much rather pack him too much than not enough. Like I always say, he can always bring it back. And if he don't have it, I will. So anyways, um, I got it all in that same little Pyrex container that we love. I gave him some lime wedges that he can squeeze over when he's ready. And I just tore up a little bit of cilantro to go over the top. I think that looks really nice. And now in a different container, I gave him a little disposable cup of some more of that sauce to dip the tacos in, as well as some sour cream. I also grabbed one of these like cheddar broccoli rice aroni cups um, that you just pop in the microwave. You just fill it with water, cook it for like three and a half minutes, just like you would the little mac and cheese cups. And honestly, these ain't really like, you don't get much for your money. It would be better to do it homemade, but I didn't have any. And I feel like with tacos, I always have to serve it with rice. So we had it. I gave it to him. Gave him a spoon, of course. And then we had two um, pretty ripe bananas left, so I just gave him both, and he's getting a diet Mountain Dew. For the next lunch, I'm going to make one of Josh's favorite things to take to work, and that is chicken salad, and I just love to use a rotisserie for chicken salad. The lemon pepper flavored ones from Walmart is our absolute favorite. So, of course, I'm going to remove the skin, pull it from the bones, and normally for recipes, I like always shred the chicken, but here lately, I've been really enjoying to like chop it 
and like the different consistency that that gives the dishes. But anyways, when I went to Walmart to buy this rotisserie chicken, I noticed that the chicken prices have doubled, which really stinks. And the price on this did go up a couple dollars, um, but I still think that it's like the most cost effective thing to do. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I did notice that this was a lot bigger than what they normally are. They're normally kind of on the small side, but this one was like huge. As you can see, I got a lot of meat from it. Um, and we just love the flavor and like the juiciness and the texture of it. Big fan. So got that transferred to a mixing bowl and um, I'm going to pull out my mayonnaise. I always like to try to add like at least a cup of mayonnaise to it, but I was at the bottom of my jar. So it might've been a little bit under, but I'm just seasoning it with a little bit of salt, lots of black pepper. And this isn't normally how I make my chicken salad, but I was wanting to try to make it kind of like fall themed. So I'm going to be adding in some dried cranberries as well as some chopped pecans and some onion powder. If you want it to, you can throw in some chopped celery or you could do chopped grapes. I know some people like that, but I kept it pretty simple. So I'm just folding that all together. I made this earlier in the day. So I'm gonna get that lid added on and pop it in the fridge and pull it out when I'm ready to pack his lunch. So fast forward, the shadows and the lighting is terrible throughout these clips because our daughter is in a fall softball league and she had a game this night and we didn't get back to super late. It was really dark outside. But anyways, I gave him a good amount of that chicken salad since it's like the main part of his lunch. Of course, he has some Ritz crackers to dip the chicken salad up with. No, he's not going to eat the whole sleeve in one sitting, but I figured what he didn't eat, he could just leave in his truck and snack on it whenever he wanted to. So I'm also going to be giving him some pears. I just took a pear, washed it, sliced it, and... I don't believe that I've ever really bought like fresh pears. I bought like the can kind, but I don't know. But it was really nice. We've been loving them. Glad to have something different in the kitchen. Um, I'm also going to give him some of these elote almonds. I'm probably saying that wrong, but a friend messaged me and told me about them. So naturally, I had to run to Walmart and try them out for myself. And they're really good. They have such good flavor, really smoky and kind of um, spicy as well. I also grabbed him one of these like big cheese sticks. This is the Kobe and... Another word I can't say, but I think it's like Monterey Jack. Um, and he's also really been loving these Cinnamon Toast Crunch yogurts. These are newer. Um, I have never tried these yet myself, but I'm sure I love it. It's just a vanilla yogurt with some of the cereal that you mix in. Um, of course, can't forget the spoon. And then lastly, I'm going to give him one of these like pumpkin jack-o'-lantern little cakes. Uh, for his drinks, other than water, I'm going to give him one of these pineapple orange juices that we love and another Diet Mountain Dew. Now we are on to the last lunchbox for this video. So I am going to make him a fruit salsa and some little cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. This is something else that we are currently obsessed with. This is delicious. So I chopped up a pound of strawberries pretty finely. I did the same thing with two kiwis and a Granny Smith apple. I did take the peel off. I'm going to add in the juice of half of a lemon. This is what's going to keep those apples from turning brown. Also going to add some brightness to it. And lastly, just a quarter cup of sugar. That is it. I'm just going to somewhat gently fold all of that together. And I'm just going to pop that in the fridge while I get everything else ready. And the longer it sits, the more it will produce like its own little juice. So I'm also going to be making him a buffalo chicken salad. So I pulled out the famous Amazon salad bowl. Something else that we've been using for years and love. I washed and chopped him up some lettuce and as you can see that bowl holds a lot of lettuce. So I'm just going to put that top part on to get the toppings ready. So this is the buffalo chicken that I use. This is the Frank's Red Hot one. I, I think this one is new. I found it at the dollar store as well. Um, really really good um but it was a little bit too spicy for Josh. He really liked the flavor and he did eat it and he really enjoyed the salad but he just couldn't really handle the spice, so I probably wouldn't be buying it again for him, but I'm definitely going to buy it again for myself. Um, so in that one little compartment there, I just chopped him up some cherry tomatoes, just cut them in half, and in the last section, I'm just going to add some shredded Colby Jack cheese. For the dressing, I'm going to be giving him some ranch. We have really been loving the Marzetti brand one. Super good. 
So I'm just going to add that to the little dressing container, pop that in the middle, and that top part does go on, which I will do later, but um, yeah, gave them a fork, and now I'm going to get started on those cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. Very, very easy. So I just took three soft tortillas, and I'm taking a pizza cutter and just getting those cut into like little wedges, little chip shapes. You can take like little cookie cutters and make little shapes. Like if, you know, you want to do it for your kids or for like a fun event celebration type thing. I thought about using my pumpkin cookie cutter and doing it or my little ghost one, but I decided against it. But anyways, I melted down about three tablespoons of butter. And instead of making my own cinnamon sugar, I just grabbed this Cinnamon Toach Crunch seasoning blend that I've had and not really known what to do with. So I just poured some of that out in a shallow dish to make it easier to dip. But basically, I'm just going to brush that butter on both sides of the tortilla and then press it into that cinnamon sugar. I got it all laid out on a parchment lined cookie sheet. And that's going to go in the oven at 375 degrees for about 12 minutes is what it took. So I'm going to let those cool down and I grabbed this Cracker Barrel mac and cheese bowl from my pantry. Um, yeah, you just pop it in the microwave. Uh, it comes with a little seasoning packet that you pour in first and then you add your water in. It took about four and a half minutes to cook and then it comes with a little packet of cheese sauce. Gonna get that mixed in. This honestly tastes more like an Alfredo more than a mac and cheese, but it is pretty good, and I thought that it sounded good to go along with a buffalo chicken salad, but as you can see, I'm just getting that transferred to another dish, and I'm gonna top it with the breadcrumbs that it comes with, and again, if you are new, um, Josh does have a Hot Logic lunchbox that he leaves in his truck that plugs into his cigarette lighter, and anything that needs to be warmed up, he can pop it in that and it will heat it up. So now I've got everything laid out. I got that fruit salsa transferred to another dish. As you can see, it's kind of juicier now. And I just put the tortilla chips in a little Ziploc bag. And I'm telling y'all, that is the best little treat right there. We just loved it. Other than water, I'm also going to be giving him some apple cider in his thermos. I was feeling pretty festive. I've never sent that with him to work, so I figured that would be a nice little change up. But that's all I got for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this was helpful for anyone out there looking for some different lunchbox ideas. I know it can be kind of difficult to, you know, change it up and all that, but I just wanted to let you all know that I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. I appreciate the support and the love on these videos, and I hope that you all have an amazing and safe weekend, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.